Hello, now I've seen that the US government has been giving really bad advice to people in Hawaii, either the government or like local sort of officials or whatever, stuff like that. Um, so, said so I don't really read or watch news as I hate it, but I was looking at um, some of this Hawaii stuff, the volcano again, and there were officials saying, don't bother getting any sort of masks or respirators to protect yourselves because they won't do any good anyway. Um, so what they said is that people are rushing out to buy dust masks uh, like this and I would agree dust masks are pretty useless especially against um, sulfur dioxide okay so I have a dust mask correctly fitted which is very uncomfortable and as I've said before these sort of dust masks are totally useless um, basically even with that bent around my nose uh, this strap above my ear this strap below my ear I can still feel plenty of gaps around the mask so it's not going to be airtight so obviously dust masks work by basically being a full on filter, particulate filter that you put over your face like this. But there's lots of places there's gaps on dust masks like this. So these are really not fit for use as I've said before. So they'd be right to say about that, however if you did for somehow you know have a properly fitting dust mask or half face respirator with particulate filters on, that's certainly better than nothing because it's going to protect you from a lot of ash and smoke and things like that. What it wouldn't protect you from, however, is the sulphur dioxide, so you might get a false sense of security in that sense, so I can understand that. But what I can't understand is, you know, the thing where they say, don't buy any masks at all, uh, you'll be safe, trust the government, you know, which is something you should never do. So, let's get this uncomfortable, horrible thing off. So, obviously, as I said, I would not like dust masks, not particularly, I'm saying this brand in particular is bad, just dust masks in general are bad because they don't make a proper respirator fit to your face. So, what was more alarming though in this report was the government said, or the local officials, whoever it was, said don't bother getting a respirator or a gas mask either because you won't know what kind of filters to get and you won't know how to put it on. You need years of training to use a respirator, right? Okay, uh, let's demonstrate how you put a respirator on. So you put your chin into it with most models, pull the straps over, Okay, so that's tight onto my head. Now I just pull the straps to secure it tight. Let's do a fit check. Oh look, the mask is pressurised. It's properly on my face. So, you know, apparently Americans or Hawaiians are too stupid according to the US government or officials to know how to do that. Again, there are things that can go wrong with a respirator, but telling people not to bother buying one because they're too stupid to know how to put it on is quite insulting, I think. Especially as some models are literally just undo the straps, put it onto your face, tighten it up. Again, you need one in your size and you need to make sure it fits you properly, but... There is no rocket science here, this is very straightforward, putting on a respirator. And again, they said you might not know what filters to buy against sulphur dioxide. Well, I've already told you that, you get the filters that um, get you know protect you from sulphur dioxide. You can literally search sulphur dioxide filters and find them online, ones that are just specialised in it. Or you can buy a combination filter that does everything, or a CBRN filter if you find one in date. Again, that deals with sulphur dioxide. Most of these filters are going to have the particulate layer in the front and the E layer, which is sulphur dioxide. So, what we can learn from this is that, again, the government is not to be trusted when it comes to civil defence type things, because they are saying, you know, oh, um... You won't know what kind of mask to get, um, so their argument is basically don't get a dust mask because a dust mask won't protect you from sulfur dioxide. That's true, but at least does give you some protection for ash and dust, but as I said, I don't like these anyway, so yeah, maybe don't get these. But don't get a half face respirator or full face respirator because you won't know what kind of filter to get and you won't be able to fit it to your face, which I think is plain insulting to people. Again, it's because the government isn't doing enough like in many of these places to evacuate people and deal with an issue. So what they say is don't try and do anything yourself, trust big government, um, when it clearly doesn't know how to advise people. If I was there with family members and children, whatever, I would definitely want to get them a mask, especially if you're still waiting for evacuation, or your area had background levels of carbon, not carbon, like, sorry, sorry um, sulfur dioxide around. You know, I think you'd want a mask to protect you from something, especially with the people who are saying, you know, their kids are in lots of pain and stuff like that. And the government is saying, no, 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 just wait in your houses, it'll be okay. So, yeah. As I said, I already had done a video on Hawaii and what kind of filters you needed, but I did think it was very insulting that officials were saying, don't bother buying a respirator or gas mask because you won't know what to do with them.
That's just stupid, isn't it? 